Uh, hello everyone, it's me Dr. Ayaz Ahmed. I am working as an aesthetic dermatologist. So right now I will discuss another important topic of dermatology. The name of topic is Sweet Syndrome. Hopefully you will learn and subscribe my YouTube channel. So by definition, it's inflammatory dermatosis characterized by non-IG tender erythematous block and papules. It is also known as the acute febrile neutrophilic dermatosis and gom button disease. The common sites involved are arms, upper body area, head region, neck region and it is associated with fever and peripheral leukocytosis are commonly seen. Females are most frequently affected. Histology include neutrophilic infiltrate with edema formation. Introduction and general description. Fever, erythematous plaque and non-specific infection leads to increased neutrophilic infiltration. Three main subtypes are number first, classical, number second, malignancy associated and number third drug induced epidemiology age sex and ethnicity no data available for incidence and prevalence moreover associated malignancy have been described age is usually about 30 to 60 years of age female to male ratio is about 4 is to 1 no ethnicity report have been noticed. There are lots of malignancies and disorder which are associated with sweet syndrome. The malignancies are usually hematological which includes number first leukemia, lymphoma but it can also occur with certain solid tumors. Autoimmune disease include rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus erythromatosis, inflammatory bowel disease and it may trigger sweet syndrome. Certain infections for example post infectious cases often follow respiratory or gastrointestinal infection. Certain drugs for example granulocytes colony stimulating factors can induce sweet syndrome. The most common disease associated with sweet syndrome is acute myelogenous leukemia which accounts for specific proportion of malignancy associated cases. Other hematological malignancies such as myelodysplastic syndrome, lymphomas are also frequently linked. Solid tumor particularly carcinoma of genitourinary tract, breast, gastrointestinal tract can be associated as well. Sweet syndrome can manifest as a cutaneous sign of undiagnosed malignancy or signal a cancer reoccurrence. Pathology Sweet syndrome or acute febrile neutrophilic dermatosis is characterized by extensive neutrophilic infiltration in the upper dermis leading to painful erythematous papule and plaques, often accompanied by fever and neutrophilia. Its pathogenesis is complex, potentially involving hypersensitivity reactions to infection or malignancies with cytokines like interleukin-1 and gamma CSF playing a critical role in inflammation. The condition may present in a three form, idiopathic, malignancy associated and drug induced. Causative organism Upper respiratory tract infection preceded by lien for one to three weeks. Intestinal infection by Yersinia infection, rarely tuberculosis, compilobacter, sporotracheosis have been noticed. 
environmental factors environmental factors are number first is the drug induced switch syndrome it is of two types number first type is gcsf associated it is the most common type and other type is the drug associated walker and cohen suggested close association between drug ingestion and clinical symptoms according to cohen closely associated drugs are antibiotics anti epileptic drugs anti retroviral therapy anti hypertensive chemotherapeutic agents colony stimulating factors contraceptives diuretics and sids and retinoids other drugs types do not offer clear explanation clinical features note history of any infection or fever malignancy drugs other features include red tender papule nodule and edematous or erythematous plaque on the head neck trunk and upper arms vesicles ulceration and pustulation may develop face commonly affected other features are erythralgia conjunctivitis episcleritis this picture describe all clinical features of sweet syndrome there are lots of erythematous plaque associated with vesicle and pustules these plaques are usually present on the neck and back of the trunk area this picture also describe the clinical features of sweet syndrome there are lots of red erythematous plaque with vesicles and pustules there are small papules are also uh, noticed here in this picture clinical variant clinical variant are number first neutrophilic dermatosis of dorsal hand features include bluish or a hemorrhagic papule and bulla and nodule on the dorsum of hand this variant usually give good response to dapsone and prednisone this variant greatly associated with malignancy another variant is the bullus variant it is very difficult to distinguish from pyoderma gangrenosum third variant is the subcutaneous sweet syndrome presents with erythema nodosum like tender sub epidermal nodules on extremities this picture describe neutrophilic variant characterized by the hemorrhagic blister or plaque on the exposed hand this is the bullus variant which is somewhat resemble with pyoderma gangrenosum this is a hemorrhagic uh, variant or you may say neutrophilic uh, variant of disorder characterized by the hemorrhagic blister or bulla on the hand another variant is the histocystoid sweet syndrome consisting with large histocystoid mononuclear cells staining with myeloproxidase is positive associated with malignancy drugs and it may be idiopathic diagnostic criteria are two major and four minor criteria this picture describe diagnostic criteria for the sweet syndrome always note that there are two major and four minor criteria two major criteria are number first it is acute onset of typical lien and histopathological finding consistent with sweet syndrome these are the major criteria now minor criteria include fever greater than 38 degree centigrade associated with malignancy inflammatory disorder or pregnancy or antecedent respiratory or gastrointestinal infection 
excellent response to systemic corticosteroid or potassium iodide. Number fourth is the abnormal laboratory value at presentation. There are four laboratory uh, abnormal value, three must be uh, there for labeling as a seat syndrome. Now three of four are number first ESR greater than 20 millimeter, leukocyte greater than 8000, neutrophil greater than 70 percentage and fourth one is the C reactive protein. Differential diagnosis. The clinical differential diagnosis include erysipelas, cellulitis and herpes simplex infection. Inflammatory category includes panculitis, pyoderma gangrenosum, syphilis, tuberculosis. Another differential is the neuplastic metastasis, reactive erythemias, systemic disease, Bechet disease, lupus and vasculitis. Now histological differential diagnosis include leukemia cutis, leukocyto uh, leukocytolastic vasculitis and neutrophilic eccrine, neutrophilic eccrine hydroadenitis are the differentials. Investigations. Investigations include number first is the skin biopsy, routine blood test, CBC, LFT, renal function, C reactive protein and ESR. Thyroid function test include rheumatoid factors and anti streptomycin antibody titer. Examination of lymph node and mouth, examination of breast and pelvis in female and prostate and testis in male. And finally, sigmoidoscopy. Management. There are three types of management. First line management include for mild cases and for localized disease, use topical steroid. Majority of cases of systemic is the prednisolone. Prednisolone is a common first uh, line treatment. Side effects of prednisolone is osteoporosis, which must be prevented. Second line treatment include steroid sparing, Depsone, potassium iodide, colchicine. Monitor glucose 6, uh, 6 GPD hemoglobin level before using Depsone in a, in a susceptible individual. 50 mg is safe dose for the Depsone, while 100 mg can cause hematological side effects. Third line treatment is the NSAIDs, cyclosporin and clofazim IVIG. These are the management for the treatment of sweet syndrome. Thank you very much. Stay connected and subscribe my YouTube channel.